it's your boy G Miles. Today we're back for another video. Today we're gonna be doing chili dogs, which is from, from scratch. So here we go. We put some boy out here, some ground beef. Since you know, don't worry, that was it. It's in a Sibok bag. Get it. And here's the full bag, and, and plus this one's a partial. And plus some of the season that that I'm gonna be using is Tony's accents or whatever. Plus I'm gonna add too much of this stuff, or else it's gonna be salty. And what we have here is a false alarm mild chili kit. Got to use that. And also the tomato sauce. The hot dogs. And also the hot dog buns that my mom got from yesterday. So, yeah. And I'm going to keep it updated once I get started on the ground beef. Hey, guys, I'm back. So, oh yeah, once you got your skillet out, all you got to do just all you turn it on to medium. And boom, let it warm up for a while. And... I'm gonna keep it with it once it get oh yeah, once it's warm enough, we're gonna put the ground beef on so we can start cooking the chili and stuff. So yeah, and I'm keeping you updated. Hey guys, I'm back. Oh yeah, once your skillet is warm enough, oh yeah, do just oh yeah, put the ground beef in like so. Yeah, you gotta put it all in. Okay, once you put your ground beef in, oh yeah, oh yeah, do just mix it. You just mix the ground beef in it's just it's all well chopped and stuff so yeah mm -hmm. so yeah and yeah i think that should be chopped up and stuff so yeah and i'm gonna keep you updated once the ground beef is cooking okay once your uh, ground beef is cooking a little uh, just to get started Oh, yeah, to add your seasonings. I don't know why I put the wood on there. All you gotta do, just add you some Tony's. So it can give a, a little flavor. Don't wanna add too much. Okay, right after you added the Tony's, all you gotta do, just add you some black pepper. But you know, gotta have that. And sorry about that, the noise, which is our dog back. Some accent. Right after you. Oh yeah, put the black pepper in. And last but not least, is a little garlic powder, which won't hurt. So yeah. Oh yeah, once you put, oh see, put your little seasoning on it. Oh yeah, dude, just mix it in. That way so the ground beef on, oh yeah, won't be bland and all that stuff. Like nobody wants that. I'm trying to give it a little flavor. Yeah, just keep on mixing it. Until it's all in there, you know. So yeah. Okay, once you mix that stuff in, and boom, like I said, let the ground beef I uh, start cooking, and I'm gonna keep you updated on that. <clears throat> okay. Oh yeah, once your ground beef, uh, beef is cooking up, and that's what you that's what you see. Oh yeah, that's oh, yeah, the ground beef is starting to turn brown instead of this pinkness. That's you know they trying to. Oh yeah, we'll see fully cooked this ground beef oils. You're gonna get some, I mean, food poisoning or whatever. So that's the key. Make sure your ground beef is fully cooked up, fully brown and stuff. So yeah, everyone wants that. To be honest though, so yeah. And boom. Let it still cook and stuff. So yeah, and I'm gonna keep it with it once the ground beef is finally browned uh, browned up. Hey guys, I'm back. So I hey, want your ground beef is cooking up, and boom, it finally turns completely brown. So there you have it, brown ground beef. Get it, brown ground beef. So yeah, and the only thing that we need to do is just a hey, drain a hey, drain the grease off and the uh, yeah, from the ground ground beef. Oh yeah, once your grease is draining off from that from that stuff, and boom, all right, you just put the back in the skillet. So yeah, and I'm gonna keep keep up with it once I drain the grease off. Hey guys, I'm back. Once you shrink, are you shrink out your ground beef, all you do just put it back in there. Yeah, you gotta put that put this stuff back in there, and then boom. There you have it. 
your, your ground beef is like back in there and stuff. So yeah, just turn it back on. And I'm gonna keep, keep it updated once the ground beef is starting to cook back. Hey guys, I'm back. Once your ground beef, ground beef is starting to cook fat, we'll start cooking again. To get yeah, to get started, all you gotta do just add you some tomato sauce. Yeah, hopefully there, there's enough though, since we know. Yeah, it says two, but I'm not. I think I'm gonna go with one instead of soya. But all you gotta do just you stir up the sauce, the tomato sauce onto the ground beef. Then boom. I think that's how it's gonna work and stuff. So yeah, and I'm gonna keep you updated once I get the ground beef stirred into the sauce. Hey guys, I'm back. Oh yeah, once you, oh yeah, pour the tomato sauce in. Since you know I gotta stir it up. Oh yeah, all you need to do just add you one cup of water. And voila, there you go. And do the same thing. Just stir. I oh yeah, just stir it all in. Just do that joke around until then. That, that's, that's how you're starting to know how to make chili and stuff. So yeah. And I'm gonna keep it keep you updated once I get started with the seasonings of the chili. Hey guys, I'm back. I yeah, once I yeah, once your stuff is simmering. But the good thing is I do just Oh yeah, let's see, add the seasons in on there, the season packet. That was, that was so it's going to start to be like chili, you know, some chili. Okay, once you got that stuff in there, all you got to do, just stir that joker in. You got to remember, stir it, all you stir it all in until it turns completely brown and stuff. So yeah, but remember, you, you cannot add this stuff into, until the stuff is similar. So... That's why I gotta let's see. That's why the nestle flour is the last thing I need to do. Step so yeah. Mm hmm. Just keep on stirring that thing up. And bam. And I'm gonna keep you updated once I get the stuff stirred in. Hey guys, I'm back. Hey, once you stir that stuff in, since we know that was that that stuff is gonna look like chili, but it doesn't matter though. But it it is chili though. But yeah. But here's what gonna look like the real chili and stuff. So yeah. Oh yeah, dude, just let me let it simmer just about dirty minutes and stuff. And boom. Hey, we're ready to, hey, to add this and stuff. So yeah. And I'm gonna keep you updated once it's once the chili is simmer for like 30 minutes. It's, you know, yeah, I think it needs a little salt, but I'm gonna add a little bit and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna keep you updated on that. Hey guys, I'm back. Oh yeah, yeah once, oh, yeah, once the chili is cooking, oh yeah, dude, just put you, oh yeah, put you a dab of hot dogs in there since we know. Yeah, I'm gonna be adding six. Yeah, six. Since we know, I know the math. Well, not really. Yes, I'm not good at good at math and stuff. So yeah. Okay, once you got I got you some hot dogs in there. Oh yeah, dude, just put it in the air fryer. Since we know, I'm using it. I'm using the air fryer. Hits down and boom. That's all you got to do. Since you know, I select air fryer and stuff. So yeah, and yeah. And I'm gonna keep you updated once I check on the chili. Hey guys, I'm back. <laughs> once your chili has has done uh, simmering, all you gotta do just pour the mess of flour in there. Since we know I gotta have it. Okay, once you pour the mess of flour in there, all you gotta do just pour you one fourth of a, a cup of water. And then once you add that, all you gotta do just stir it all in. Until it's all together, you can tell that the, hey, that this stuff is starting to be thick right now. Hey, it appears to the flour and stuff, so yeah. And that's what I'm doing. Yeah, add, adding the quality of it and stuff, so yeah. Yeah, check it out. Mm hmm. It's starting, hey, it's starting to be like chili, you know. Mm hmm. So yeah. Because all I gotta do just. Put the flour in, boil four cup, boom, boom. We have it, so yeah. And I'm gonna keep you updated once, once I check on the hot dogs. Hey guys, I'm back. So the hot, hot dogs has, has been cooking for all, and bam, that's what you want. 
yeah, all y'all do just hey, let this hey, choke around and plus, and I'm gonna keep you updated once I get the hot dogs out. Hey guys, I'm back, and voila, there you have it. Nice, well, well done hot dogs. Are you from the air fryer? Since you know, I kind of like my wieners, my wieners both boiled and stuff, so yeah, but I prefer on my air fryer and stuff, so yeah, check it out. And I'm gonna keep you updated once I check on the chili. Since you know, I think I might add tomatoes on there. Hey guys, I'm back. So the chili has been cooking for a while. And then, there you go. That's how you make, that's how you make it. Uh, chili dogs from scratch. Make your own chili. Chili dogs. You get it? So yeah. And all you gotta do, just turn it off. And boom, boom. And I decided not to add the tomatoes on there and stuff. So yeah. And I'm gonna keep you updated once I get, I get my plate set up. Hey guys, I'm back. So... I got my buns out. All you gotta do is just put you put your hot dog in there. Yeah, just put your wiener, a wiener in there, hot dog or whatever. But I prefer calling calling your hot dogs and stuff. So yeah, and I'm gonna keep you updated once I get started start on the chili. Hey guys, I'm back. So oh yeah, once you got <laughs> let's see, once you got your hot dog set up, all you gotta do is just uh, put your whole thing of chili in there, a couple things of chili. Like, bang, that's how we do it in, in the South. You just put your whole thing of chili in there. And separate it, separate a little and stuff, so yeah. And bam, that's how you do it in step so yeah. And I'm going to keep you updated once I get my chips out. Hey, guys, I'm, <clears throat> I'm back, so there you have it. Chili dogs that that's being made from scratch, just out in the box, which is the seasoning and all stuff. So yeah, plus got me some sour cream and onion chips, and we're gonna take a good look at those chili dogs since you know I can pick it up. But I'm gonna use it. It's a fork and stuff. So yeah, that's the only way. And bam, check it out. And plus, there's a cheese on the chili and stuff. So yeah, and let's get this chili dog a taste. That's the greasy one. Mmm. Mm. 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 Wow, that, that's the best chili dog ever every taste and stuff. So yeah. And I'm gonna keep you updated once I get through my chili dogs and some chips. Hey guys, I'm back. Man, the, uh, yeah, the chili dogs that I did cook for the first time from scratch. Sure did. Hit the spot and plus and it's super good and stuff so yeah so check it out yeah chili, chili dogs eaten by me plus that's hot dogs and boom that's it hey that's the chili from a uh, for for uh, yeah, for the chili dogs which is a sauce eat it since we know i did i did good for the first time and stuff so yeah chili from scratch so yeah which is from the box and stuff so yeah Way tube that that video is gonna go up on Sunday if you ever get a chance. So yeah, way tube if new to this channel, please give a like, share, and subscribe. And also hit that notification bell if you ever get a chance. So yeah, way tube I'm from the we'll see I'm from the wrap this up and it's been your boy J Miles. Peace out. Hope you enjoyed the cooking vlog on chili dogs, which is from scratch. Peace out.